Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and today, guys, I want to show you how to upgrade your uh, assessment and deployment kit version 8 to 8.1. And the reason why is because if you guys uh, hopefully you're following me we are going to do MDT 2013 and you need the ADK 8.1 for it to work properly so uh, this is the link that you guys need to go to to get yourself a copy of the ADK Windows 8.1 so I'm actually gonna post this at the description part so you guys can get a copy again it's free and let's go into the virtual machine so my virtual machine my setup my setup is this uh, my Windows Server 2012, that's what I'm using, is standard, 64-bit. Uh, I have MDT 2012 Update 1, or Service Pack 1. Uh, I have Windows 8 Pro, 32-bit uh, imported already as an operating system. And I have my assessment and deployment kit, as you can see in programs and features. And this is the version right here, 8.59.25584. Uh, again, this the ADK kit is really big. It's about four gigs in size. So if you guys are going to install it, uh, you know, install it, run it, and then go take a coffee break. Uh, what I kind of find it strange is that if you guys downloaded 8.1 and you ran it, uh, it's going to give you a nasty little error. And I'm going to show you guys what it is. Now I already have version 8 already installed into my virtual machine or my server, but w you would think if you download 8.1, 8.1 is going to uninstall the old one and just reinstall itself or overwrite the old one and then install itself. It's not going to do that. You're going to get this nice little error in and you basically have to uninstall version 8 and then install 8.1. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to minimize this and I'm gonna uninstall the old version now uninstalling normally takes between two to three minutes it shouldn't take that long and once the assessment and deployment kit version 8 is completely uninstalled for your machine again you guys can reboot or not uh, I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna close my programs and feature dialog box and I'm gonna run version 8.1 right away let's double click on it hit run and once it hit run, you're going to get the specify the location. By default, it shoots it into your C drive. But for me, uh, I would normally put it into a separate uh, hard drive, not the C drive, put it in a D drive or you know a different partition. Uh, but again, because I'm running on a virtual machine, I'm going to put everything as a default as the C drive. Now, keep in mind that you guys need a huge hard drive because... Uh, it's going to actually download 3.2 gigs of information to your machine. Uh, so we're going to hit next. I don't want to join the customer experience improvement program. So I hit next. I'm going to accept the licensing agreement. And by default, you get uh, the deployment tools, the Windows PE, and the Windows Performance Toolkit checked off. So those are, those are the three things that you get automatically. Uh, the other three is really up to you and what you're going to be doing in your environment. For me, I'm going to do the user state migration tool is because I like using that tool. And uh, let's hit next. And that's about it, guys. That is how you upgrade your ADK version 8 to 8.1 so you guys can get ready for the MT2, uh, MDT 2013. Uh, pretty soon guys on the next video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your 2012 update 1 to 2013 and we can start playing around with it uh, I, I think on this virtual machine I actually install SQL 2013 uh, so I'm gonna start doing a little bit more databasing stuff with MDT so that's really pretty cool if you have any comments or questions or concerns leave them, leave them at the bottom of the video and uh, catch you guys on the next video. And don't forget about hitting that like button. Peace out.